This is a Miwa kumquat tree. This was planted about two years ago uh, in March of 2019. And this was planted on the north wall and it's facing almost uh, full sun since morning on the east side through evening on the west side except some shade that it used to get till this year with a big uh, native tree which has been cut down now so it's going to be exposed to full sun for almost whole day now and it has been doing well it's planted mostly in native soil with uh, no more than 25 percent of coco car sand and some compost on the top with plenty of mulch all around it and it has not grown in terms of height but it grows relatively slowly for the first few years at least based on my experience and it does produce throughout the year uh, the miwa kumquat being one of the sweetest varieties of kumquats i have not tested the other ones but that's what i have heard and the fruits ripen through fall and through spring but it does flower and fruit throughout the year it's one of the easiest trees to grow and it does grow very well in small spaces so i have it planted uh, very next to the pool so probably about three four feet away from the pool but so far it's been doing well and since it's a small tree you can plant it uh, in limited space uh, either in full sun or partial shade so we'll see how it does in the partial uh, in the full sun one important tip to grow the kumquat tree or for that matter any other citrus tree here in arizona is protecting the trunk so what i have done just like many other trees is put this cardboard and just wrapped it around loosely with garden tape or just a string and then uh, replace it probably once a year if needed this will protect the trunk from getting sunburned uh, till it matures and you can leave it there and even if it gets wet it should dry out pretty quickly without harming the tree this is the easiest and uh, least uh, expensive way of protecting the young citrus uh, trees uh, from getting sunburned especially in peak summer one thing to note about kumquat trees is that they are the most cold hardy citrus trees and they do go dormant so think of them as deciduous trees they do go dormant in peak winter in fact that's the reason why they could survive the uh, cold uh, uh, climates they can be hardy till, till 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, typical citruses don't survive below sub-zero temperatures. Because of that uh, and because of the fact that they do go dormant, they are not going to get any nutrients absorbed through the roots during winter months. So two things that are important to note about kumquat trees is if you see that the kumquat tree leaves are getting these yellow speckles on their leaves especially coming out of winter dormancy in early spring that is normal since the tree is dormant it's not absorbing any nutrients and this is just the iron and other micronutrient deficiency but that is not going to hurt the tree as you note here when uh, it's early spring so this is mid march here in arizona the tree has already started to bud out with these new leaves and new leaves and new branches are growing at every node and those are coming in very healthy and that's the signal that these older leaves are just going to stop growing and getting any nutrients since the tree is focusing on new growth in early spring and the second thing to note is in winter since they go dormant you don't want to saturate them with water just uh, water them lightly if at all they are bone dry but otherwise uh, not watering in winter uh, is okay even in Arizona for kumquat trees. This is another hole that I have prepared on the east side of the house 
it is about a foot or so away from the house wall, but since this is for kumquat tree and it is a small uh, bush kind of tree, it should be okay close to the house. And I have amended this slightly with coco coir and sand mix with compost added only on the top. Most of the rest of the soil is native soil. So once the so tree comes in, I am going to plant it right where I have prepared the hole with about 4 feet by 2 feet uh, worth of hole uh, dimension and it is dug about half to one and a half feet deep. So I am planting a kumquat tree today. This is a Miwa kumquat tree. It is a 3 gallon tree. So what I am doing is on east side of the house, I had dug about 4 feet length by about 2.5 feet in width and about 1.5 foot deep uh, hole. And I had backfilled it with native soil with uh, just 20 percent coco coir sand mix, but most of it is native soil. And I had put this compost on the top uh, over a month now. And I have been watering as if I would have planted a tree at the center. So today I am going to just uh, remove the soil a little bit uh, and then plant the tree. This becomes much easier and the soil is already all um, mixed and the hole is pre dug so the process goes much faster. So while planting the uh, tree, this is kumquat tree, what I am doing is I took out the base of the pot so as not to disturb the actual root ball and then once I set up the height correct and took out the soil, what I am doing is just cutting the side wall of the pot and then opening it that way the root ball is disturbed in a very minimal way. If you see the roots which are girdling around then all you do is score them so as to not have the tree become root bound later. There you go the kumquat tree is now planted and I have created a berm around the main root ball which is where the initial watering for the first couple of years will primarily go and then the wider berm will hold rest of the water so as to encourage the root growth away from the trunk of the tree. And I have raised the main root flag about a couple of inches so probably about an inch above the grade so as not to keep the trunk wet and have the water drain properly away from the tree. The next step is water and then protect the trunk with a wrap. I use burlap or a cardboard, either way is fine. After the kumquat tree is planted, what I have done is applied about 3 to 4 inches of mulch and the compost layer is just below the mulch, uh, maybe an inch thick of compost layer and then this is the cedar mulch on the top and then I have also staked the tree so that the young tree does not bend too much in the wind and I just use the small stakes uh, which are the bamboo stakes or the stake that came with the tree and I have just attached the rope, uh, this is just the twine or you can use the garden tape, the green tape and the tree is now watered in and I am watering for the first couple of weeks, once every three days and after that I will back it off to once every couple of weeks till uh, summer and then in summer I will water it once every week. Since it is planted on the east side it is going to get some shade after about 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the afternoon uh, in peak summer. So this is how you would plant a kumquat tree here in Arizona. This is a Miwa kumquat tree and since uh, it is a newly planted tree uh, and it came with the fruits as is. I should have taken the fruits out but uh, in my experience uh, on the first tree even if I keep the fruits on the kumquat tree does not get any transplant shock as long as the root ball is not disturbed. This is a Fukushu kumquat tree which I have also planted on the east side of the house and this tree is top heavy the leaves are slightly different in 
that they are more broader and they are more flatter. Typically, you would see that a new kumquat tree takes about a year or so to establish itself in the ground. So, till then it is very important to protect the roots. So, I have applied a heavy layer of cedar mulch on top of this tree as well as well as I have made sure that the berm that is retaining the water is getting watered once every week uh, in uh, spring and early summer and then based on how dry it gets I might water couple of times a week if needed. And I have done a small uh, berm all around the tree which is about two and a half feet in diameter around the tree. And also I have put some compost layer underneath the mulch only on the top of the root ball uh, not inside the soil and this should help feed the tree in its first year uh, easily. And the same thing I have done with the Miwa kumquat tree for the Fukushu kumquat I have also staked it using the bamboo stakes and the twine or you can use the garden tape uh, as I described for the Miwa kumquat and then you can also use the stake that came with the tree as one of the supports like here. And this tree does produce slightly bigger fruit based on what I have read. And this is the fruit that came with the tree. So, I will see how this grows. I am assuming after the first couple of years of growth, the tree will start getting bigger and the fruit will be bigger and of better quality as well. So, this is how you would plant a Fukushu kumquat and this is planted on east side of the house. You can also grow kumquat trees in small containers. So, this is a 30 gallon grow bag. I have filled it with about 25 percent native soil with coco coir uh, and compost uh, which is equally mixed in another 30 30 percent and I did add little bit of uh, uh, sand in it to make it a well draining mixture but the native soil added together with compost and coco coir works really well with uh, holding the moisture especially in peak summers and the grow bags do work really well here even in full sun especially for small citrus trees. So, as you can see here there is another citrus tree which has been in the grow bag for 3-4 years now and it is doing really well. One thing I do is once I fill this grow bag prepare the soil I let it rest for few weeks and water it as if I am watering the tree in there. This does start the composting process and gets the soil well mixed before I actually plant it and leave this hole in the center of about the same size as the tree. So, when the tree comes in I am just going to plant it here and it becomes very easy to plant a new tree. This is a Nagami kumquat which I have planted in this 30 gallon grow bag and once the grow bag was filled few weeks ahead of planting what I have done is I planted it on the west side of the house and it is getting watered almost every day at least for a gallon or so worth of water and that is primarily because the fact that it is in the grow bag uh, it might dry faster than had it been in the ground since it is above ground uh, planting. And for protection I have uh, staked it with a uh, stake and a twine this is the stake that came with the tree I just removed it and planted it uh, in such a way that I can attach the stake. Also I have made sure that the root flare which is where the beginning of the root zone is root flare is slightly above grade so it does not sink uh, and the tree does not have any root rot. And another thing to notice is where I have kept this grow back is near some other uh, bushes like this tomato bush as well as another uh, Maya lemon citrus tree and this helps the tree to get 
acclimatized and what I have noticed is if you plant the trees closer even in the grow back it helps them by means of per perspiration from the surrounding trees that helps reduce the radiant heat and at the same time it also helps them uh, to get some humidity and moisture uh, near their leaves and we'll see how this grows in long term and nagami kumquat is one of the tart varieties but uh, this should grow very well here in arizona as well and you can see the tree has already started to bud out and it's getting the small leaf nodes like here for example and all these small dot looking nodes will emerge in spring as new leaves and then probably new flowers. One thing to note on kumquat trees is they are deciduous trees so they might seem to go dormant in winter but if it's in a grow bag you might want to water it once every few days even in winter just to avoid the root ball from completely drying out. So that's how you would plant a kumquat tree in a grow bag and it should grow well since it's a small tree.